G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. It's flip cup day, yay. My favorite thing to do with acrylic pouring. Now, before we get started, I'll show you this one. He's all dry. I'm calling him a he because it's green. <laughs> it was pink and a bear girl. So yeah, dried beautifully. Let me bring him up so you can have a little look, a closer look. Look at that. Those of you that like cells, I guess, will like it. And there's a bit of movement in there because I did the flip and drag. So we've got the stripies. Really pretty cells. So they dry pretty much the way I leave them when I finish my video. They don't tend to change. They don't move because my mix is nice and thick. So it doesn't tend to move very much. Alrighty, let's get started. So I'm going to do three flip cups today. I will do some bigger ones every now and then, but they use so much paint. So this is just a three today. This is a 30 by 40 centimeter, 12 by 16 inch. And I was thinking about what colors to do. And I was going to do oranges and turquoise. And I had them all out. And then I thought, hmm, there's a good chance I'll get mud with those. And then I thought, oh, I love these colors. Um, they're sort of smoky blues and a bit of brown. And then I put this little light blue in. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, they're all the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. This is the Burnt Umber, which is this guy here. And I've put him between the white and the grey, because I think that would look nice. Um, yeah, I've just mixed, basically I've mixed the colours myself. That was um, white with a bit of black to make it like a grey, and then I put a bit of blue in it so it's like a, a bluey grey. White, navy, this is... Um, just blue with a bit of turquoise a lot of white to make it like a light blue with a bit of turquoise in it and then a, a dark sort of charcoaly gray this one was really thick I haven't used this one probably for about two years and same with this one they were really really thick so I ended up having like two parts pouring medium to one part paint and they're really really bubbly because I've been whisking them like crazy trying to get the lumps out so hopefully they'll still work Right, so I've got seven colours, 100 grams in each, 50 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint, that's 100 grams, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 700 grams of mixed paint for that size. If you want to know what that is in ounces, divide it by 30 and it'll tell you the ounces. Uh, spot on treadmill silicone for cells, let's do three drops in each. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3... I had a lovely birthday the other day and thank you so so much for all your messages oh my gosh there were so many of them I couldn't get through all of them but I tried to read them all but thank you so much I feel very loved you're my YouTube Facebook family I feel as if I know you all and you're my family and friends so thank you so much I feel very loved all right let's get the stirring underway did you see that lovely cabinet toolbox trolley thingy that my husband bought me? I need to go and get a piece of plastic. You know that, um, same as I've got on this table, probably can't see it. Uh, it's like a thick tablecloth, like you can buy it on rolls at the hardware store. I need to go and get some of that to put over the top before I start putting things on it because I don't want it to scratch and I don't want it to get covered in paint or resin, you know, over the years. So I'm just going to go and get some of that roll out tablecloth stuff plastic sheet nice thick one it comes in different thicknesses so I'll get a nice thick one and cover it and then I'll be good to go and start loading it all up once I've got it all set up I'll show you again how I've got it all set up right so I've got two whites and um, <clears throat> we'll start layering hey so half my cup in the first layer I'll try and be quick Oh, you still feel a bit thick, you do. Some of the colours are just thick, aren't they? Might have to put a little bit of splash of water into that brown. All right, and the white again. So as usual, I've tried to go light, dark, light, dark, just so that my cells will have nice coloured rings around them. You know, if you put these two next to each other, you're really not going to see the the rings are you of your cells so your colors are too dark next to each other so try and go light dark light dark 
and you'll get really pretty rings on your cells. If your cells are looking more sort of um, fuzzy, it's probably because your mix is too thick. Like you're not getting nice, smooth, defined rings. They're kind of a bit hazy. Yeah, probably a little bit on the thick side your mix. So just add a splash of water. So I thought I've got quite a lot of dark colours. I'll add two whites. I really want to do another sandwich pour too. Just have to decide on the colours. And also, you know those um, ring pours that I do? I do like five or seven and then you just tip that way and you tip that way and you um, stretch them out. I want to do some of those as well. Let me know if you guys want to see those. I'm just going to add a touch of water to this brown. I've got one and oh, it's up there on the cabinet. I can't really get it at the moment and show you. But uh, you know what I mean, don't you? Like elongated ring paws. They kind of look a bit like timber like the the natural knots and holes that you would get in timber they kind of look like that once they're all stretched out and hubby has finally finished with the landscaping the excavation so no more noise You've got the new turf down it's looking amazing the dogs are loving it I was really hard there because for a week I just had mud. The dogs were just bringing in mud inside and bits of sticks and oh, it was awful, but it's all good now. All right, here's with the little bluey gray, all gone. And the white again. I'm going to do the flip and drag this time. I think the last couple have just sort of been flips, except for that big green one. That was a flip and drag, but I try for some just, I've been doing a lot of just the flips, I think. So back to the flip and drag today. Oops, I hope we've got enough navy to go around. I hope these colours will be nice together. It's really hard, you know, coming up with new colours for you guys. And a lot of you say, oh, because one of that, oh, one of the other ones I did recently, they said, oh, I didn't think those colours were going to work, but it turned out really pretty. So, yeah, I have the same feeling. Sometimes I just look at them and I go, mm, I don't know if it's going to work, but let's just try you anyway. Let's see if it works. This cup always seems to get a little bit more paint because I start with them, so I'm just adding a little bit more to the other two. I love this colour. It's really pretty. Pretty light blue colour. Alright, last one with the charcoal again. Still feels a bit thick, this charcoal -y one. Just put some on here. Yeah, when your paints are really thick like that, because you haven't used them for two years, um, yeah, they get quite thick and lumpy and and then when you stir them up, they get quite frothy because you've <laughs> stirred them up so fast. So oh, I don't know if it's going to work very well. Like if you get a paint like that, you really need to mix it up and then leave it overnight for all the bubbles to settle. But yeah, I need to go. I need to do this. I need to go and make a cake. Oh, it's my son. My son's my son Shane. It's his 30th birthday in a, well, next week, but. My husband's here at the moment, and it's my husband's birthday in a few days. Like, there's three of us in two weeks. So, tonight um, I'm doing a roast dinner for my husband and for my son. So, I'm doing two roasts because my son wants his lamb roast. Uh, not my son, my husband wants his lamb roast. Um, and then my son, um, he married a lovely girl who was vegetarian when we met her, but she's now gone vegan. And so Shane's now gone vegan. I guess it's just easier for them. So I'm doing a vegan roast and a lamb roast and heaps of roast veggies. And then I'm doing this 
gorgeous, gorgeous chocolate vegan cake, which I actually made for the wedding. It's delicious. You wouldn't know it was vegan. It's so moist. And... Anyway, it's delicious. So I've got, after I've done this, I need to go and make the cake, <laughs> the birthday cake. And then um, we'll have our birthday celebrations tonight. And then hubby goes back on Tuesday, see? So I need to do it today. All right, enough with my family business. Let's get on with this. It's looking very dark, isn't it? That charcoal. Mm, hope it's gonna work. All right, here we go. It's looking very dark. I might flip that one the opposite way to see what happens. I don't normally, but let's just see. And it does my head in that you can just turn it and you get something different. Like, I don't understand how it happens, but... See? I told you. Why? Why does it do that? I, I just don't get it. I'm going to go through the centre because I want some of this brown. I don't understand why it does it. Like, it's the same cup, but I get a different look. It's, yeah, just weird. I don't understand it. All right, there we go. Oh, I'm glad that these two are the same and then I've got that one that's slightly different in the middle. All right, let's just cover one side. Got plenty of paint. I'll put the corner catcher on. We don't want to lose all the paint just yet. Come back around the other side and back try and straighten up my lines okay now I don't need that corner catcher anymore I need it as over one side all right now we'll torch it's looking very gray so I'm hoping we'll get some cells up through that all right here's my big blow torch Okay, here we go, torching. Um, and yeah, it's going to be very bubbly because of uh, those two thick paints that I told you about that I've had to stir, stir, stir like mad. So lots of bubbles to pop. Hopefully we'll get some pretty cells as well through that, through all that grey. Look at that grey-blue there. That's pretty, isn't it? I like that. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Oh no. Might be a little bit on the thick side. Still those ones that I had to stir so much. But yeah, lots and lots of bubbles um, popping. In little little specks. Little tiny dots. Lots of caterpillars today. A little bit in here. I don't want any more. Mm, might leave it. I can always put a few more in later. Getting some gorgeous colours. Look at this. Look at this light blue and the white coming through the grey here. And then over here we've got this um, pale bluey colour coming through. So it's really hard to know. Like you flip them over and you think, oh, that looks really awful and grey. But yeah, once your cells come up, it's a different story, isn't it? Zoom you in a little bit more now that I'm finished mixing and things. All right, how's that? It's always good to be up close and personal, isn't it? All right, now it's good just to wait for a minute or so for your, you know, all the oil to come to the surface and bring those colours with it. So 
just wait give it a minute because they will grow a little bit because you know the paint's nice and thick maybe not so much in consistency but it's thick layer so the cells come up and they can spread a little bit if your paint's too thick they pop up and they can't really spread so you get tiny little tiny cells but um we're going to stretch them now i mean if you wanted really big cells you could torch early before you tilted the one side but um, I don't. I, I just find that it overstretches them if I have to torch and then tilt that way and then tilt that way and then I just find that they get a bit overstretched. Now I'm going to decide what I want to do. Do I want to keep this? I probably won't get much of a choice actually. I think that's going to go. Because the weight of the paint at the moment is up here. So we'll just just walk it see how much I've got on there I think I've ended up with a little bit more than I would normally use because um, I've had to add so much water to um, a couple of them oh look at that should we get rid of that so um, yeah I think they've get rid of that yeah so I've ended up with a little bit more paint Mm, um, I don't know if I want to get rid of that. See, if I get rid of that, I'm going to lose a lot of that light blue. No, I'm just going to keep it. Keep it. Try and straighten everything up. That was easy, wasn't it? If you've got a lot of paint, it's so easy. So easy to um, just tilt everything, cover what you want to cover. I'm just going to put a bit of paint on that corner. Yeah, you basically got to make sure that you cover your first edge because it's you're not going to get back there you know once you have tilted over the one side you're really not going to go back again because uh, you'll just overstretch everything so make sure that everything's off and done at the one side oh, I love it you guys <gasps> wow yes yeah, so I did end up having a little bit more paint because um yeah to to get those two to the right consistency I had to add more water more water more water so I ended up with a little bit more but you saw how easily it was to cover all right let me get my gloves off and um, actually I'm just going to use one of these sticks just to oh I've got two sticks stuck together just to run down like that underneath because there's a lot of paint dripping off and you don't want it to drip because it's carrying like it's quite heavy so it's going to pull the paint off the sides because it's heavy so just clean underneath and that will stop a lot of that drippage oh I love it again colors that you think no nah, it's not going to work they work really well this is like like ah oh, like a riverbed because look I've got this dark brown and then over here I've got like this creamy color because the browns mixed with the white can't see a lot of that pale bluey turquoise one it's a little bit of it it's there there's a bit there there's a bit there can't see a lot of it though all right let's go down have a little peek now in one of my recent videos I showed you just through the window over here in my studio and you could see my dogs um, and they were on just on on dirt because we were landscaping I'll show you in a minute what it looks like now as soon as hubby gets out of the way he's he's hired one of those roller things you know that you put water in and then it, um, you roll it over the new grass <laughs> he's doing that I don't think he'd appreciate being in my video <laughs> Oh, there's that caterpillar that I was going to knock off the side, but he's okay. I would have lost all that pale blue, and I didn't want to do that. You have to weigh it up. Say, well, I can either get rid of that caterpillar or leave him and keep all that light blue on the side, which is what I've chosen to do. Oh, I love these. Look at those cells. Look at those. See, the navy is uh, semi-transparent, and so the um, opaque, which is around it the white and the light blue there looks just beautiful a little bit of snake skin happening there 
Well, that's really pretty. I might do browns coming up soon. What do you think? Browns, white, bit of creamy colour. What colour would you throw in with browns? Just for a splash. I always think you need something. Something else rather than just browns. Like today, you know, just smoky blues. And I thought, mm, I really need something else. That's why I threw the brown in there. But um, what colour do you think would go nicely with browns? Mm, what about like a pale green? What about a pale green? Would that work? That's so pretty. Yeah, it reminds me of um, like a, a rocky pebble, little river. Love that section there, right there. That's going to be my, what do you call it? Thumbnail, just there. <laughs> Love it. All right. Let's have a look outside. Sorry, it's through a dirty window, but see Dave put up that new retaining wall there. I can't really get around the corner there. Oh, there's the air conditioner. But that's the new turf anyway, that's the new the new grass sod. I think you call it sod in the States. <laughs> so this will be this this area that I'm in will be um, my dog room and there'll be a door there where there's a window at the moment. So this is gonna be my new dog room and then I'm gonna build a new studio. So there it is. Hope you like this one. I love it. Really, really happy with it. Okay, I've got to go. I'm going to go and bake a cake. Um, thanks again for watching. Love you all. And again, really, really appreciate all those beautiful, beautiful birthday wishes. Can't thank you enough. Make me feel so special and spoiled. I'll see you all soon for the next video. Bye for now.